In trying to find out more about my great, great grandmother and my great, great grandfather, uh, John Charles Bryant of West Point, Mississippi, I attempted on several occasions to reach out to the family. Uh, I had a little degree of success with one of the sisters, Caroline B. Harrell of uh, West Point, Mississippi, who was uh, inclined to talk to me by telephone on several occasions discussing some issues as well as uh, by email. Her brothers, however, George Wilkinson Bryant of Memphis, Tennessee, and John H. Bryant Jr. of uh, Lake Bluff, Illinois, which is right outside of Chicago, who was uh, chairman and CEO, uh, retired now, of the Sarah Lee Corporation, uh, they have been reluctant to talk to me. And simply put, uh, we're not looking for any uh, kind of validation or money or of course money would be fine but not looking for that we're looking to find out who Frances Fennessy was her relationship with J.C. Bryant that rendered 11 kids out of wedlock I think that's an important question because it, at this point we know that Mama Frances was born somewhere around Atlanta Georgia and that she had a brother and sister and we know that she was uh, African-American and Native American, but her father was French. But we don't know where her father comes from. We don't know where she comes from. We don't know where she's buried. Uh, for instance, uh, she had 11 kids. We don't know where some of those kids are buried. So finding out an answer as to who she was is paramount in us finding out the piece of puzzles that's missing in our lives. So a refusal by... Uh, the Bryan brothers to at least discuss that to give us some information that would lead us into the right direction uh, just doesn't seem fair and in reading about his book which is titled Where We Came From uh, it doesn't really talk about where we came from because we're connected the Fennessy family and the Bryan family are deeply connected My name is Frances Finnessy. I was born in Georgia in 1856. My mother was of African American and Native American descent. My father was French. In my lifetime, I gave birth to 11 children, all out of wedlock. All of my children were fathered by the same man, J.C. James Charles Bryan, a white businessman from West Point, Mississippi, in Clay County. In the pages of his new book, Being Black Goes Like This, my great-great-grandson, author Lamar Thomas, will tell you about our family and the dark, dark secret of J.C. Bryan and his family's denial and non-acknowledgement that our family and the Bryan family are deeply rooted and connected. The question, who is Francis Fennessy, is one question. Francis Fennessy was my great, great grandmother. The other part of that question is, if I don't know who Francis Fennessy was, where she came from, that leaves a void into who am I, where do I come from? because clearly as my great-great-grandmother, she was the beginning. So it is important that I ask these questions because I'm bound to want to know where our family comes from. Our family begins with Francis Fennessy and a local businessman from West Point, Mississippi, Mr. J.C. John Charles Bryant. Without 
having that piece of the puzzle as to where we come from and where she comes from, it gives us a situation that we cannot follow or respond appropriately because the piece of our puzzle is missing. So Francis Fennessy becomes an intricate part of me, my family, and their family. Who is Francis Fennessy? As part of the book, Being Black Goes Like This, uh, I want to know. I want to reach out to those people who may know. I think that the Bryan family knows. I think that my DNA will match the DNA of J.C. Bryant. If we had dialogue with the Bryan family, any intelligent dialogue, we could find out more about my great-great-grandfather, J.C. Bryant, which would lead us to know more about my great-great-grandmother, Frances Fennessy. So the question becomes and remains, who is Frances Fennessy?